A good morning. Oh, welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Yo-Yo. Not a lot of not a lot of news to cover for you guys today. Um, no contest news, no results that I have for you. Uh, first thing I do have on contest though, if you're going to US Nationals, you're planning to compete, today's the day. If you don't register today, it's gonna cost you or your sponsor more. So I'm gonna make sure I remind my players that you have to register today. Um, so you get the lowest price. Do it today, save yourself or your sponsor some cash. Um, other than that, just wanna thank you guys all for the tremendous support so far on the Dire Wolves. Um, we've had three solid colors that sold out right away and we released the four solid color last night. There's still a couple left on the site if you're interested. Um, if you're watching this, they might be there, so go check gsquareyoyos.com. And this black one is the AL7 version, so that's why um, it's a little bit different. It's a little, made out of 7075 instead of 6061. It's two grams heavier, and this one, you could tell, has some heft to it. So if you like a little bit of heft on your throw or you want to try a yo-yo with a little bit of heft, because most everything these days is made to play light and um, quickly, this AL7 Direwolf plays very different than the 6061 um, just because of those two extra grams you'd be surprised how easily you see the difference even when you throw them back to back or even if you just pick them up weeks apart like the difference is pretty big so if you're interested in something that plays just a little bit heavier the momentum you can really tell whatever I'm, I'm done talking about it but that's the difference there so if you want one go grab one um, so we're done with those that is the only AL7 colorway Hopefully we have two splash colorways. I haven't quite decided. I'm waiting on the, the anodizer to let me know. There's still a chance we drop them with the last two episodes. The alternative is we drop them all for the finale episode. Or we drop them at a non-Game of Thrones time because somebody brought that up. Why are you dropping these all at 9 p.m. on a Sunday? It makes it really bad for Europeans or, or anybody overseas. And it's just kind of, it's kind of tough. That's a tough drop time. But I just wanted to have it with... The episodes I guess um so that's about that uh, we might have a reaper drop this week just stay tuned I've got some deep purples that are just about ready to go but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to drop them we're busy here around the G2 HQ I'll give you guys an update on that shortly um, this week I'll be sending out the invites to the people showdown I'm trying to invite about 36 people and I don't I don't know why I picked 36 but I did um, and then the first round will be a compilation of everybody's first trick. So you'll have one video, 36 bangers, and it'll be put up to vote in the top 16 vote getters will make it into bracket play, which then in turn comes out to compete for that $750 cash money. <laughs> I'm annoying. I know. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for your inbox for that. Actually, I think most players that are, I don't know, I'm kind of curious how many top tier players watch Monday Morning Yo-Yo. If you love Yo-Yo, you might just watch Yo-Yo stuff. It's it's pretty much, so maybe maybe they are watching, check your inbox. Um, but look forward to that, that's going to be a lot of fun to watch that, a lot of inspiration there, which covers into our next subject, Thrower's Block. I just wanted to, to talk about that for a second, um, just because I haven't really tried to make a new trick in like we'll say 14 months or something and I'll show you my thrower's block it's not it's just what I do standard and it's pretty much what I do when I'm testing on stream when I'm testing by myself when I'm standing waiting whatever at the restaurant at whatever at the park just just stand around I do one trick and I don't really push myself to learn new stuff so I'm curious how many people of you how many of you out there do that same thing and how many of you just hit thrower's block where you just can't create anything new um, what do you do to get out of it? Do you go specifically learn a new trick or do you just go back and go through all the basics? Um, those two things have worked for me in the past where I'll go, I'll pick out something specific to learn that I, I don't know. And by the time I learn that, then I can kind of mess with my own tricks again, making my own stuff, or I'll go back and learn the basics and you can really like not, not go back and learn the basics, but go back and remind myself the basics and you can really learn like like it kind of, um, there's a lot of moves there that you can use in the more advanced tricks that you don't really realize off the start. But I'm kind of curious what you guys do. So if you're interested, let me know. 
post it in the comments. Uh, let's see if I can do this trick sitting down, because I think if I stand up, I'll be out of frame. Uh, let's see, here's where we go. Nope, can't do it standing down. <clears throat> and by standing down, I obviously meant sitting down. So this is pretty much what we do. We don't do that, that's completely new. We don't do that last session. I guess that is what my body wants to do though, so this is very, very awkward, is that when I put the pressure on, that's what we're always doing. I was drawing a blank for the trick that I do standard because I was trying to make sure I did it for you. I don't actually know the trick, apparently it just has to come default. Anyways, have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching.